This morning, recovery crews hope to pull the wreckage of a helicopter from the Tennessee River. Four people were on board that high-end chopper when it crashed Monday night. Prominent East Tennessee businessman Joe Clayton was killed. The other three survived. Leslie Ackerson joins us as East Tennessee remembers the legacy of Joe Clayton. Russell, Joe Clayton was a prominent businessman here in East Tennessee. He and his brother Jim were business partners and, of course, lifelong friends. They are the men behind Clayton Auto and Clayton Homes. In Jim Clayton's autobiography, First to Dream, he talks of he and his brother's life during the Great Depression, growing up with the poor sharecropper parents in West Tennessee. Joe appeared on Halloran Hilton Hills, Anything is Possible, back in 2012, where he talked about his life and his success. And that's what, what I found. That's what I think Jim found also, that it was, if we look around, that we can learn. And if we learn enough, then we can make things happen. And that's kind of how all of it developed, I think. Joe has three children, two sons and a daughter who were also in the auto business. We're also hearing from Jim Clayton. He shared a statement about his brother on behalf of the entire family. Jim says, I am devastated and completely heartbroken by the loss of my wonderful brother, Joe. Joe and I were as close as two brothers can be, and as only siblings, we have supported each other since growing up together on a farm in West Tennessee and as business partners for decades. My thoughts and concerns are totally for Joe's family right now. I am very grateful to the emergency personnel who responded so quickly and professionally and to the caring couple on a nearby boat who gave assistance.